Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I know I'm a little late today. Sorry about that. Uh, Mondays are my day off, so I slept in a little bit tired. <laughs> so uh, please forgive me, but thank you for being here and uh, Grab your cup and let's talk about soul contracts, right? Good morning, Keely. How are you? Um, so I wanted to talk about soul contracts. It was a, an idea from one of you guys. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Sean. And it, you know, and it's a great topic, especially um, for today, which I'll explain at the end of the video. But good morning, Lisa. And uh, oh my goodness, everybody, hi. Hi, Rosie. Um, okay, so soul contracts. This is, you know, and again, you're gonna, you're gonna have other people with different opinions or viewpoints. Good morning, Gail, and it's perfectly okay. The idea is for you to kind of take in everybody's perception or belief around soul contracts and see what resonates with you. See what sits within your own soul as the truth, okay? Good morning, Tiffany. But to me, you know, I'm going to talk about what I feel soul contracts is, what I feel that through my meditation and connection and listening to mentors, tutors, all of those things, what, what it means. So we make these soul contracts and that is, you know, truly we make it from, uh, when we're in spirit, you know, when our soul makes these contracts before we get into the physical realm, before we get into this particular lifetime. So it's like a homework assignment, right? So, so, you know, the universe, God, whatever the power you want to call it, they say, okay, you're going to go into this lifetime and these are the things that you need to take care of. You know, maybe you need to love more. Maybe you're going to learn forgiveness. Maybe you're going to learn how to love yourself in this lifetime. Maybe you're going to learn uh, how to help others. I mean, it could be a bunch of different things, right? It's just, but think of it as like a homework list, okay? So chapter one, chapter two, all of those things. And it's good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Tiffany. So it's like you have to complete these homework assignments, okay? And now it's a blueprint. So it's kind of like, hey, this is what you're going to need to accomplish. Now, here's the thing. This is where some people vary on this belief system or, um, oh, Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, sharing the video. She shared the video. I really appreciate it. Okay, so here's the idea around these uh, soul contracts that some people believe is different. So some people believe you make these soul contracts and there's nothing you can do. This is your blueprint nothing you can do to change that. You're going to have to go through these to, you know, accomplish those. Uh, now others believe, well, wait a second, you've got free will. So yes, there is this blueprint of what homework needs to be done, but you may be able to, you know, kind of either ignore it or you may be able to achieve it, but maybe in a bit of a different direction because you go a little bit of a different route. I, I actually believe that. I think that's so true that, um, because how many times did you make a decision to only realize you should have gone the other way? And when you did that, it felt better and you were able to kind of accomplish something or achieve something. So I, I think it's absolutely that, yes, we, we do have these uh, homework assignments and we need to kind of look at them and check them off, but we also have free will. We do have the uh, ability to kind of change how we're ticking them off or we could slow it down or speed it up, all of those things. But at the end of the day, the, the soul contracts tend to be karmic lessons. So maybe it's that you, you know, how many times do you have a relationship in your life and you're just like, oh my God, what am I supposed to learn from this? <laughs> so, 
Yes. Or, or, you know, you fall in love so deeply. You fall in love like crazy. You believe they're the one. And then it, it just goes a wall. It just goes real bad. And you're just like, I can't believe it. I thought I was supposed to be with this person. So all of those experiences are definitely part of these soul contracts we make. We can make it with a person. We can make it with ourselves. We can make it with the universe, with God. You know, when I use the word God, please know I'm using it for whatever God force that is for you. Whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to call it, the power of God, whatever it is for you, okay? Um, but basically, you, you complete these, right? So you check them off. I got homework done. I got chapter one done. I got chapter two done. And I get to, um, I get to return to spirit. Okay. Um, now in the physical realm, sometimes we get confused because what if somebody passes early or, or whatever the case may be. And we say, well, wait a second. They never got married. They never had kids. They didn't get the experience of graduating. They missed out on all these experiences. We focus on the experiences they missed out on or our perception that they missed out on these experiences. But it's knowing that, um, you know, that's not what it's about, right? They accomplish their soul contract. They accomplished their homework. They didn't need that physical realm experience. Maybe somehow they got it in another lifetime that it wasn't what their soul needed at this time, in this lifetime. So when you look at your loved one and you are mourning that loss and, and saying, oh, but they missed out on this and this and this. You, you know, I would, I would say, you know what? They did a great job. I mean, they are truly, their soul got those lessons and good for them. And, and you and I, we're still here because we're still, we've still got the lessons to learn. We're still working through those soul contracts. Um, we are still working on those lessons that we need to achieve and, and understand before we can. So good morning, Nicole. Um, so basically, you know, it's understanding from a soul, from spirit to the physical, are you kind of given this blueprint? Yes. Do you have free will to navigate that blueprint? I, I do believe you do. Absolutely. And good morning, Adrian. Now, also, if Let's say you didn't accomplish, like there's just another life lesson. It's just something that didn't, you know, maybe you did it, but you didn't get it quite right. <laughs> they're going to make you do the homework over. <laughs> That's, they're going to make you do it over. Now, one of the things, oh, I love the faces and all. Thank you, guys. One of the things that's interesting, again, not everybody talks about this, but I, I again, this is just through my... Um, through my, my belief system and my guides and things like that. Some people feel that once you get back into spirit, then you're done. You've accomplished, you know, done. I, I actually think it's a little different. I believe that once we cross, we have soul lessons. So the same as we have life lessons, I believe we have soul lessons. So you go back and they let you reflect and they say, what did you do? And how did we do it? And how did you do? Okay, great. Now on a soul level, you're going to get this new set and that soul works on them. We work on it in spirit. We work on it in spirit. Then we get to kind of reincarnate back into the physical realm to have another life lesson. So I think it's this beautiful repeating circle because otherwise, how do guides become masters and ascended masters, right? I think they're graduating. They're graduating in the soul level. It's, you know, you don't become an ascended master just because of how long it's been since you passed, right? It's that knowledge and that wisdom and that all being. And so I believe just as much as we have life lessons, there are soul lessons. Those soul lessons are very different, of course, but it is knowing. That's why, you know, I think when loved ones pass away, They've got jobs to do. They're busy. You know, maybe they're helping others in the earth realm. Maybe they're helping others in the spirit realm. Maybe um, they're, you know, 
helping children. It, it, there's so many different things. But I feel that this energy of the physical realm and spirit and our soul is always going. Nothing has ever just stopped, right? It's continuous energy. So, good morning. So, when you... When you're having your, you know, your lessons in this life, these karmic lessons, you know when you've got those karmic lessons too. I mean, those are, those are doozies. <laughs> not always negative though. So let's not always look at things as negative lessons because that's not the truth. The birth of a baby. For any of you who have experienced giving birth, is that not an incredible karmic experience and lesson for you? I have not. So apparently I must have checked that off in a past lifetime. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> but for you, that is a, a lesson. It's a, it's a karmic soul contract you made. And how beautiful is that? Okay. For mommies, how beautiful is that? Okay. That, that spirit, that soul chose you to say i'm i'm gonna i want you to protect and harbor my soul i want you to be the person who helps me in the physical realm how beautiful is that is that not a gift and a miracle and a lesson and for any of you who have children you know there's different types of relationships between uh, parents and children. Some are like best friends. Some go head to head a lot. But again, a lot of that is the lessons. What are we learning from one another? Why are we in each other's lives? Okay. So yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it is this beautiful, this beautiful journey that we're on. I mean, it's really, life is fun and yeah there's some hard points and yeah there's some heartbreak but you know there's also a lot of love and there's also a lot of learning and a lot of discovery and you know when you're feeling a little down get outside and look at the grass look at trees look at birds look at the sky there are miracles all around you, all around you. So understanding, you know, these lessons that you're going through, these soul contracts, um, maybe that will help you have a little peace around you going through it, okay? And maybe it will help in understanding that when you have a loss of someone that you love so dearly, that you understand they just got their homework done sooner. <laughs> they, they were an excellent student, right? And uh, maybe it's just that, you know, their soul had progressed a bit and then it needed to come back in, check off a couple things that maybe needed a little tweaking from the prior lifetime, and then they get to go back, right? They didn't need the extensive human life experience that some of us experience so I'm, I do hope that helps in understanding that we make these agreements we make these soul contracts because it's always a progress our soul is always progressing and learning and growing and mostly it's learning love love above all love above disappointment love beyond hurt forgiveness love beyond that so kathy how do we know what our life lessons are you know i don't know if you're going to know all of them because i think the ones that you re you think of might be the biggest ones okay overcoming a heartbreak or losing losing someone in your life that you've had to kind of overcome or experiencing um maybe a, a job loss, but that job loss, there was some betrayal behind it, getting through betrayal in some way. Those, you know, the bigger ones, again, the birth of a child or getting married or divorced. I mean, all of these, we think of the big ones. And those are the big karmic lessons. There's also, I think there's little karmic lessons, little ones, just the ones that where you do have an understanding of gratitude 
or you do have an understanding of being there for someone. So I think they could be little and I think they can be big. And whether or not you know whether or not you've checked off one of your homework assignments is maybe not so important. It's maybe just knowing, am I loving? Am I being the best person I can be? Am I learning and growing and expanding with each breath that I take? And if you're doing that, then know that you're doing your homework. <laughs> okay? And uh, I do would love to just, if, if y'all don't mind, um, I would love to dedicate this particular video and episode to my friend Brett. And uh, Brett passed away on March 1st. And he was about to turn 49 this year. And... It made me reflect and understand that, you know, he got his homework done. And Brett was a great guy. Beautiful smile. Really fun to be around. Loves the Foo Fighters. <laughs> Loves him some, some uh, Dave Grohl. Oh, he had a man crush on him. And... Uh, loved animals, loved animals, and he was a great neighbor and a great friend, and all of you have someone special in your life that is now in spirit, and take a moment to just say, nice work, you got your homework done, nice work, and when I get my homework done, I'll see you on the other side, and with that, I'd love to just leave you with Coffee with Colby, and I want you to have a fabulous, fabulous day, and uh, get out there and do your homework. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.